Hey guys, what's up? It's Cassie. Um, today I thought I would do a quick little how-to video on how I paint some abstract flowers. Um, I will insert a picture, maybe right now. I don't know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys how to paint that today. Um, it might look a little bit difficult, but it's honestly not really. Um, and I feel like it comes out looking so cute. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, so stick around if you want to learn how to do that. Let's get started. Just get some colors that you like. Make sure there's darks and make sure there's lights and a lot of white. You need a lot of white for this. Um, and then I have my gross looking water, which actually this is from yesterday. I should really change, but <laughs> you know, anyways. Um, so then I have... Oh, that's wet. I also have a towel set down here. Um, I always I have like a paint towel that I just wipe everything off on and make sure I don't get paint on my parents' <laughs> stuff. So anyways, um, so I have a bigger brush for like bigger stuff. <laughs> and then, wow, I'm annoying. And then I have this brush which I'll use for like the petals and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was me painting. Um, okay. So that's pretty much everything that you need. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm first gonna be taking this bright pink color <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And just kind of making big circles. I'm showing you the brush. A rounded brush just makes it a lot easier when you're doing circles. So I really love this brush. Um, and then you're going to do just a mix of big circles and small circles. And just taking whatever color you want as the base for your flowers. So just picking wherever you want them to be. Just circles. I'm using some orange. Um, don't worry about and some purple. Don't worry about how bright that color is. You can always t tone it down with white. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the darker color and putting it in the middle. So you're kind of creating this V shape with either a red or a purple or whatever other dark color you want to use. And I'm just figuring out where the center of the flower is and sort of the way that I want it tilted. Um, if that makes sense. Then I'm just kind of adding in some other spots where I think there will be some darkness. Um, then I'm going in with some white and I'm just kind of following that V shape um, and I'm taking some other colors, so some of the lighter colors, mixing them in there. The great thing here is that you're, you're painting on wet paint so it kind of all uh, blends together and you're kind of just going over top. Don't be afraid to kind of layer it on thick. Um, and you're just doing the same kind of movements, that outer V shape. And then I take the peach and I put it at the top for a highlight. I add a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow in at the top there just to show where the highlight of the flower is. And then the darker colors stay kind of towards the bottom of the flower. Um, so yeah, I just kind of keep doing this until I get it to the point where I think that it looks good. You can always add more white to lighten it up, more light colors if you want, or if you want them to be a bit bolder, you can keep the dark colors in there as well. Also, don't be afraid to add in some colors that you wouldn't necessarily think about adding in. Like I add some orange for a little bit of a spice here, um, just to kind of add some dimension and make it a little bit more fun um, and a little bit more abstract. It doesn't have to be all pinks or all reds. You can add some purple in there if you want, some blue. Whatever colors you think would complement it well and would kind of bring the flower to life, then just go for it, friend. I mean, what do you gotta lose, right? And so here I'm just doing the same thing, but with the purple, adding in some whites, uh, some orange for a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a spice, and I just keep going back and forth until I get it to where I want it to be. <laughs> Alright, 
so now it's on to the leaves um, I just use a medium green and a dark green and a white and I kind of just put all of those colors on the brush dipping them into each of the colors and then just making my leaf shape and sort of keeping the dark green to the bottom of the leaf the white to the top of the leaf and the medium green in the middle and so I'm just gonna be doing this um, adding some other little fun um, I don't know what they're called like vines or something um, I'll be adding those in as well just wherever you feel like there should be a leaf then girl or boy just make your leaf like just just put it wherever you feel like there should be a leaf if you look at that spot and you're like man it would be cool to have a leaf there put it put it there it's your world so just do you <laughs> Okay, so I've also just added a couple of uh, little flower buds to some of the vines. Um, so I've done some pink and some purple. I'm going in over top of them while they're still wet with a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of blue to make them pop. And then after I'm done this, we are done. <laughs> is our final product. Can you see it? It's super cute. I actually love the way that it turned out. Um, hopefully you had fun painting with me and I'll be sure to do another video soon. Let me know what you guys want to see me paint um, and I will do my best to get that done. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, my information will be down, lo down low down below. Um, I also have a Patreon. I also have a Facebook. I have an Etsy shop. So all of those links will be linked down below. And uh, check me out and I'll see you soon. Bye.